Hi guys and dolls. So some of you may or may not know me. Uh, my name on YouTube is Vintage or Tacky. I'm also known as Cora because that's my name. You can call me the one, it's fine. Um, I'll be making some videos for you guys here on the channel, so hopefully you guys will enjoy my videos along with all the other great makeup artists that are on this channel. Uh, for my first look, I wanted to do something that was kind of bright and fun and kind of inspired by the current situation. It's summer and it's hot. So I did a kind of a fiery look. Uh, I really, I love yellow. If you are subscribed to my Vintage or Tacky channel, you know I love yellow and I use it um, pretty much any time I can find a way to squeeze it into a look. But um, I actually think that Beam might be one of my favorite colors from Beauty from the Earth because it's a warm, sunny yellow. So it can kind of work for people that yellow doesn't typically, that yellow does not typically work for. And then Addicted is just really, really pretty. Um, they're all gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and let you guys go ahead and just watch the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so the first thing is I already applied the base to my lid, so I don't have to worry about that. So the first color that I'm going to use to apply to my lids is this one. This one's called Addicted. It's a really pretty red, and kind of depending on how you apply it, it kind of looks different. If you um, share it out, it, it kind of gets more orange toned. It's kind of cool. And I'm just getting that on a fluffy brush, and I'm just knocking off all the excess because I don't want a, lot, a bunch of fallout. And I'm just going to apply that to my crease. Like this, kind of using the windshield wiper type motions. And I basically just want to, at this point, just uh, define where my crease is. The way that I define my crease is I just follow my ocular bone. It makes it really, really easy for me. And I think it kind of makes it easier for most people. Okay, so next I'm taking a little bit of a water-based mixing medium and a small shader brush, and I'm just going to spray that with water. And the next color that I'm using is Beam. Let me see if I can... Beam is kind of somewhere in between yellow and orange, and it has kind of a metallic-y kind of a look to it. It's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to apply that wet onto my lid. See, that went on super easy, super quick, and it looks so pretty in person. It's kind of like a really warm, sunny yellow with just like a hint of orange in it. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to go back in with Addicted and, and add a little bit more of the red in there. And this one I'm going to be more like pressing the color on it first. And then I'm going to tap off the excess on my desk. And then I'm going to go back to those windshield wiper motions and kind of blend it up a bit. So then to soften up the outer edge of Addicted, I am just going to take a fluffy brush and soften up the edge. This brush has no color on it, so it's not going to add any color. It's just blending it out. Okay, so now for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to take a white pencil, doesn't matter what brand you use, and I'm just going to put that on the inner corner and kind of draw it up a little bit. I like to bring my inner corner highlight up into my crease because it just kind of makes it all flow pretty well for me personally. And then I'm going to take a pencil type brush and I'm just going to blend out the white pencil so that there's no harsh line or like obvious starting Harsh line's a good word. So over that I'm going to apply Whisper. And again, camera washing it out. It's um, kind of unique. Most of the duochromes that I've seen with a violet undertone are just a white based one and this is kind of like a creamy pinky kind of a color. It's kind of hard to describe but if you have it you know what I mean. And I'm just putting that in my over the white pencil. And blending that a little bit into Addicted. 
Then I'm just going to apply my eyeliner. Could You actually could use um, a multi-purpose mineral to, uh, as your eyeliner, but I'm going to just use a black eyeliner for winged line. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my top eyeliner off camera just because it takes too long. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to line the top line of my waterline. Yeah, I make funny faces when I do this. <laughs> now I'm going to take um, the same eyeliner and I'm just going to line the bottom. And mascara. I totally forgot to show you guys my brow highlight, so I'm going to go ahead and take Whisper again. I'm, I can't believe I forgot this. And I'm just taking a, a flat shader brush and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. Okay, so for lips, I'm just going to take a Urban Decay lip gloss in Quickie and put that on my lips. funny it looks really really bright in the, in the tube but it's pretty much like my own lip color but pinker on my lips so I kind of like it so anyway that is my fiery summer look uh, I really really like it you guys know if you uh, watch me on my vintage or taggy channel you guys know that I love yellow with a passion and I'm always excited to find a red eyeshadow that you know kicks butt so, um, again, this is Vintage or Tacky for Beauty from the Earth, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.